it's, uh, it's Sunday the 17th of May 2020 and I counted uh, this morning when I left the house I haven't been on a train for 57 days which is a sentence I never thought I'd say I'm on a bridge just north of East Croydon Station overlooking the Brighton Main Line I can still look at them from a distance when I'm out on my bike it's kind of noisy though, I'm going to go find somewhere quieter So I last went on a train, it was the middle of March. It was before the lockdown and do not travel was introduced. I was on a southeastern service and it was empty anyway, like I had the whole carriage, perhaps the whole train to myself. At the invite of GTR, heading to East Croydon um, to see what's going on now as some people uh, start to use the train services again. What's changed? so quiet. It's because it's a Sunday. Well actually no, every day feels like a Sunday. It's just been so strange having no, having no routine. You know, I think a lot of people, they focus on about doing their commute, going to work. There's a certain part of me and other people too that actually sometimes traveling on a train is, is the joy. It in itself is a leisure activity. If you're having a bad day, you can just go for a train ride or go to a random station just for the sake of it and that that can give you like a mental lift. I mean I almost miss hearing see it, say it, sort it. Almost. So we're at East Croydon, um, which is uh, how many, off camera, how many people, I'm chatting to a lovely lady off camera, how many people would you normally get through here on a daily basis? On a daily basis it would be about a quarter of a million. 250,000 people a day would normally come through East Croydon. I'm chatting to the lovely Ramla, she's the station manager, but we're going to go to the platforms and uh, we we'll just see what's happening on the platforms at East Croydon and discuss what changes have happened over the past few weeks. Everybody meet Rambler. Now, I've got, to, I've got to keep my distance when we do this. <laughs> and normally I'd shake your hand, so I'm not, I'm not doing that either. Hello, what? I'll just wave from a distance. Uh, just tell us quickly what you do here at East Croydon. Uh, my name is Ramla, I'm the station manager at East Croydon. I just manage the daily uh, goings with the, about the station, the running of the station. Over the last few weeks what was it like did passengers just suddenly drop one day and have you seen like and was it quiet for like a week and has it have they slowly been coming back through your gate lines it has um, I think on the first week of uh, lockdown we have noticed uh, a, quite a big drop and it continued to drop by the end of the week we had about 60% of the normal passengers that we would have and then it was quiet for about six seven weeks and one the announcement of people that can't work from home needs to go back to work from the Wednesday it actually has picked up I note here, so is the wait the waiting area has been taped off? Yeah. Has, has that been, been taped, taped off. that's been taped off since Since the lockdown, so, so since what, March, the lockdown, So what March March twenty first, wasn't it? March twenty first, yeah. So people generally just space out and wait on the platform. Is it is it weird on a Monday morning at eight o'clock when the platforms are noticeably quieter? It or? is. It has <laughs> it has been so weird and it has been it's quite surreal. Seeing that the first couple of weeks coming on the rush hour onto the platform I'm not seeing one or two people in the whole entire East Croydon station. It, it took a time for us to get used to it. It felt every day it felt very eerie. So 
So I can see on the floor beneath my feet big bright pink stickers. So you're recommending that people stay yes. two meters apart when they're queuing for tickets. Do people, as a rule, do they do they are they good? They you, they tend to do that. Like they all as good as gold. Stand on the queue, wait till the next one is free, and then step onto the next one. It's been actually brilliant. So so far, they've followed on all our requests. Payment methods have changed as well. If you if customers can manage just to pay by contactless or by card to avoid any cash handling for our staff to do that and the passengers as well. I've given Ramla my camera which means we're now BFFs for life basically. So you can only recommend that passengers do wear a face mask but it's not a legal requirement is it? It's just, we're basically they're just saying it would be nice if you do right? Yeah it's not a legal requirement so we are only uh, on advising right now so we advise our passengers to wear it when they can, where they can. All right masks. I just wanted to come behind the scenes uh, at East Croydon. So your office is in there. This this is the ticket office area. Yeah. So presumably you're doing there's certain measures in place to safeguard your staff uh, as well. Um, yes, to safeguard our staff, we are not having all seven windows open. We are opening the window at distance, one open, one closed. Um, all of them have got the hand sanitizers in place to use it. Um, they've always got the blue roll and cleaning stuff to keep their workspace nice and clean and the breaks they know as well so one person goes when they finish the other person goes just to maintain that social distancing. Ramla again I want to shake your hand but we can't actually do it so let's let's do a virtual <laughs> handshake like that. So I can't get the train. Still not been on a train. Cycling away from uh, East Croydon Station. The timetable railway scheduling uh, nerd inside of me was also wondering about the services and the service patterns. But I asked GTR and they said, would you like to speak to the man in the know? I said, sure. Uh, they said, we uh, have a conversation with uh, Steve White, the Chief Operating Officer of GTR. But in the new world, in the new way of doing things, I'm heading home so we can do it via video chat. So I'm joined uh, online at home. Uh, the new way of doing things is to have a video call. Uh, and thank you for joining me. It's Steve White, the Chief Operating Officer for uh, Govia Thameslink Railway. Hello, Steve. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure, Jeff. Thank you for uh, hosting me. When this all started, uh, what seven, eight weeks ago now? How did how did Southern and, and Thameslink and everybody? How did, what did you do with your timetable? Did you initially? scale back to a Saturday timetable or a Sunday timetable? How, how did that work? Well, as our own team began to be affected by coronavirus, just like the rest of society, uh, we realised that we were not able to sustain the operation of a full timetable. So we took a first step down on the 23rd of uh, March, followed it a week later with a step down on the 30th of March, and we've been running a timetable essentially based on a Sunday service with extra early and late trains uh, for the last eight weeks. And today is the first opportunity we've had to step back up again towards a new normal. And then slowly, I guess, as hopefully as we all want them to, slowly things return to some sort of normal, you'll then ramp up your services. Presumably you'll, you'll monitor how many people are coming through and you'll match, uh, you'll match the services to the demand. Well, monitoring is really important. So we've now got a daily report that shows us how many ticket sales we've had compared to yesterday and the same day last week, uh, how busy our stations are so we can get gate line data in 15 minute intervals. And also on our latest trains, we can get real time onboard information to see how many people are actually traveling on our train. And we also launched last Friday, Jeff, a, an app for our staff for them to report any incidents where social distancing is not possible. So we are very carefully monitoring the use of our network 
and we'll make tactical interventions where we can. We might make a train longer. We might have to adjust stopping patterns. We can make tactical interventions. But across the whole of the rail industry, it will only be possible to go back to a full timetable when obviously we are able to have all of our colleagues back at work and we are somewhere away from that position. But today is a good step in the right direction. Found another spot where I can watch the trains. What a strange day, what a strange time we find ourselves just living in generally. I'm not here to tell you whether you should or shouldn't be travelling on a train or not. Uh, follow the advice, the train companies on their websites have got posters at stations. I'm not travelling on trains uh, at the moment. I hope I will be soon, otherwise uh, 57 days is going to be who knows how many. I will just say that uh, my channel and my videos predominantly obviously transport, travel, railway based. So everyone is extremely thankful to all the, the NHS and other key workers, but especially as this is a railway video, uh, if you're working uh, as a driver on the platforms, uh, the ticket office, gate lines, thank you for doing that. Thank you for keeping our railways running for the people that do need to travel. Um, it's appreciated. <laughs>